Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a proof to the trig identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1. And so to do this we're going to take the xy plane and on it we're going to draw a generic circle which is centred at the origin. Okay, so you can see I've already drawn that out. I'm now going to add on a radius to this circle and I'm going to say the radius is of length r. Okay. Now the point where this radius touches my circumference, so this point here, I'm going to say that has coordinates x and y, like so. From here, we could now draw a line going from that point straight down to our x-axis. And because of everything we've said, that is going to be length y. And now I'm going to draw another line going straight across my x-axis like that, and that's going to be of length x. Okay. And so now we've actually constructed a right angle triangle. Okay. And I'm going to say that this angle here is an angle theta. Okay. So based on everything we've just said, let's see what statements we can make. Well, I could say that while well, sine of the angle, so sine of theta, that's equal to my opposite divided by my hypotenuse. Well, the opposite is y and the hypotenuse is r. So sine of our angle theta is equal to y divided by r. I could also say that well, cosine of our angle theta, that's equal to our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse. So that's going to be equal to x divided by r, like so. I could also use Pythagoras and say that well, x squared plus y squared is going to be equal to r squared. Okay. So now let's see if we can use this to construct the proof. So we have that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta okay, is identical to 1. How could we show that? Well, let's just write out sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, okay, like so. Well, what is that equal to? Well, I know that sine squared theta is equal to y over r, and cos squared theta is equal to x over r. So let's just sort of write that equal to that. So I could say that, well, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to y over r, all squared plus x over r all squared like so. We could now expand those brackets and we could say that that's equal to y squared over r squared plus x squared over r squared. Now I could just add those fractions together and we get that well y squared plus x squared divided by r squared is equal to sine squared theta plus cos squared theta and using the Pythagoras we could say that well x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so y squared plus x squared is also equal to r squared. And we get that that's equal to r squared over r squared, which must be equal to 1. And so we've shown that sine squared of theta plus cos squared of theta is equal to 1. And we've shown our trig identity to be true. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more math tutorials. Thanks for watching.